I'm Trish and I am with Life is Their Mom and today is day two of the Flats in the Hand Washing Challenge. If you missed yesterday's video, I will link it in the description for this video. And I went over a little bit about what the challenge is for, why I'm doing the challenge, and our previous experience with it because this is our third year doing it. Um, I also listed in the description yesterday and on the Facebook post for the video that if you had any questions to let me know and I would answer them on today's video. And I have a question. Um, I was asked if I used snappies or pins to fasten the diapers. I used pins. I previously used snappies, but since I switched over to wool covers, um, I switched to using pins because I was afraid that the snappies would catch on the wool and after I went through all the trouble of making the cover, I didn't want to have the diaper tear it up. Pins are so much better in my opinion now. Of course I'm saying this as I diaper a almost six month old who does mind you roll and is somewhat mobile so it's not like it's easy but it's not a toddler which might be a little bit more difficult to do. The uh, trick with pins what you need to remember is that you're going to pull the sides of the diaper tighter than you would with a snappy because part of the snappy is that it hooks in and it, the tension sort of pulls it together and without that tension with doing the pins it's going to relax some when you do put the pins in so what you're going to do is you're going to pull the diaper sides tighter than you normally would also make sure you stick your fingers between the diaper and your baby's skin that way if your pen goes through and you poke something you poke your finger and not your baby and lastly the last tip I promise with the pens make sure that where the pen catches and it hooks together is pointing towards your baby's hips and not towards their privates because one's gonna hurt a little bit more and cause a little more damage than the other um, Yesterday, I did finally get around to the hand washing, of course, and I must say that the bucket and plunger is much easier than doing it with the sink. Hold on one moment. You're naked. You can't be in the video. You need to go watch your show, okay? Yes? Do you want to go ahead and get your juice? Go get your juice and I'll open it. Um... The bucket and plunger is much easier than my tiny sink, which can only wash one diaper at a time. Uh, but the plunger is super hard on the hands. I would recommend using gloves or something padded that that will uh, keep you from tearing your hands up because my hands felt pretty torn up afterwards. Um, Okay. Um, let's see what's next. So today's prompt, sorry, I promised him juice if he was good, and this is actually the second time I've done this because it turned out I didn't record it the last time that I did. So he's been very good in the living room waiting for me to finish. You cannot be on the camera, you're naked. Stay there. The top back on. I'm gonna put the top back on. I'm gonna the top. So today's prompt is going over your stash, what all you're using, and how much it costs you. I am using about 12 flats. I got eight new ones about a month ago, purposely for the challenge. And I have about four left over from previous years that aren't completely raggedy and still work. Ours, they held up great up until this previous, the old ones held up great up until this previous year when I started using them for my son, Arthur, the new baby, who was a massive bitter upper. And so they got like a real beating then. But we have four of those and we have eight new ones. So we have about a dozen flats. Um, we have the flats, we have six cloth wipes, we have five covers, 
five thirsties duo wrap covers and two wool covers which I made. Altogether I spent about $40 on supplies. The uh, flats were about $20. I showed oh. it. I showed mommy started to do the Oh. The flats were about $20 total for the dozen. The covers was was were a five pack special from Thirsty's with their new nautical prints. The uh, wool and the supplies for lanolizing the wool were about ten dollars total and then the wipes were like five dollars so about forty dollars total for no not forty i'm sorry my math math is not my strong point seventy dollars total altogether for all of it um i also have a bucket and plunger that i'm using but we already had those we i'm Fairly sure we got the plunger in a set of. When did it be those two? Oh, really? Yeah, I want to. In a housewarming set that we got from our realtor when we moved into our house. And the bucket. <coughs> I. Oh, shoes. If you're going to be in the video, you have to be quiet while I'm talking. Okay? The bucket, I have no idea where it came from. We just have a five gallon bucket. We have actually had it all of the years that we have done the challenge when I've always wished that we had a bucket because everyone was going on about how great their bucket method was. But I guess it never occurred to me that that bucket that was holding up one of our shelves was the bucket I needed. Um, it was very messy because our bucket doesn't have a lid. And I've tried several people's recommendation of not pulling the plunger all the way out of the water and still huge messes like whoo, whoo, whoo. Um, But yes, it is vastly easier than hand washing one by one in the sink um, But rough very rough on your hands uh, This is about half of a little less than half of our usual amount of diapers we have because we also have several pre-folds that we would normally use and about six or seven contour diapers that we also normally use and then we have pockets that we use when we're out and about um, so we're definitely making do on a much smaller amount and we definitely have much smaller than many of the other people that I've heard who say they have like 20 30 flats we only have 12 um, but it's good because it reminds me that I have to wash more often and if I didn't I might be tempted to just let them sit. Uh, so far today I have done, I've got a little guy watching me behind the, t the camera screen. Um, today I washed last night's diapers, the diaper I changed him into, or changed him out of before putting him in bed which was after I'd already washed the others and the ones that he slept in. He slept in a two flats. One was folded up into an angel wing fold. It was folded into oh, a pre-fold shape and then angel wing. And then the other one was pad folded and sat inside of it and they, it was covered with a thirsty's wrap because somebody poured water on the wool cover and it had to dry all night. Um, and, sorry, and now I have a baby crying. And that's really all that I need to cover for today anyway. Again, if you have a question, let me know and I will try to answer it tomorrow for, or I won't try, I will answer it tomorrow for you. Um, and I hope you continue following along with us as we do the flats challenge. Remember, check out the Facebook page, which will also be linked in the description. As at the end of the day, I will post our pictures from the day and a little recap about the day. Um, also, you can follow us on Twitter, and the Twitter is the same as the Facebook and the YouTube, which is at Life is Their Mom. Um, I guess that's all for today, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.